I am here to inform you guys that today is the day. Today, in episode 5, is the day that we get our first win. That is really sad. Just gonna do a quick rundown of the lines. We have Michelli, Schmaltz, Keller. Pretty much nothing has changed, but I do see one small difference. Another prospect has joined the team with Josh Stone. They called him up. Defensively, we are still currently missing Sergachev and Valimaki, so it doesn't look too great. And in net at the moment, we have Connor Ingram, who is doing very respectable. But then we have this clown that doesn't have a win. But that changes today. Florida Panthers not doing so hot. This is really weird. I feel like we've seen a lot of good teams doing poorly. We at least have to get lucky once throughout the year where we have a simulation that we're up by three going into the third. It has to happen once, right? Let's see what Florida's made of and let's see if this is the game that's going to get it done. Or if we got to wait a little bit longer. First period, 1-0 Utah. Second period, 2-1. This could be it. Nice and easy, boys. If you want to get another goal, I'm not going to be upset. Oh, no. Tethering is on again. Why does it keep doing this? I swear I found a way in NHL 24 to turn it off. But right now, I can't. I can only do it at the start of each session. I don't know how that didn't go in, but I am ecstatic that it didn't. Get the puck out of here. Another save on Reinhardt. Some theatrics involved. And thankfully, the defender was there to get the rebound. We are already gassed. We have a red, whatever that is, stamina bar, I suppose. Nice draw win. Okay, D to D. Down low to Kraus. Let's set something up here. Let's get a two-goal lead. The insurance marker, if you might. Stayed with him the whole way. Pretty much what I did is just like not move. Tried to not panic and just kind of chill. So if he went to the other way, I was Dunyans. But he didn't. Another save. That was a stat patter. Shouldn't have got rid of that. Oh man, I am so sorry, defender. Okay, I need to... If I get it here again, we need to kill the momentum. I will smother it. Rodriguez down low. In front it comes. Bennett goes back to the point. That was a gruesome slide from me. But it was blocked. And now we have a chance. And now we have a... What are you doing? Here's Chucky. Gains the blue line and he just goes for the save play. What a wimp. And it's going to work in his favor, isn't it? Two guys are there. But we also send in two. And our two come out on top. Great tip by Clayton Keller. Don't know how that one didn't find a way. But the goaltender... Just had to be in the right spot, I guess. Marino gets dropped at the blue line. Schmaltzy keeps it in. I like it. I really like the way this team is playing so far. I don't know what it is, and I'm sure this I'm going to regret this immediately. Okay, we did make the save. For some reason, I just feel more confident today. The last few have been going in, and I was basically nervous. Like, oh no, this isn't going to be good, is it? We're still not going to get our first win. I'm going to play terrible. But today, it is what it is. You know what? We're chilling out here. Doesn't matter, because we're going to score. Remember when I said they were going to make me regret saying that? Well, here we are. And there's a save. There's a save. I mean, I still can't be upset with how I'm playing right now. Work some magic here, fellas. Point shot. That's going to drill our teammate. You might want to take at least a peek before you let that one fly from the point. Just my two cents. Krause is battling right now. This guy is a one-man wrecking crew. And he almost sets a goal up in front of the net there. We have a buck 20 remaining. Super not down for a shootout. So if we could end this thing in overtime, ideal. Or better yet, you could end it in regulation. I'm not going to say no. No, not them though. Not them. I meant us end it in regulation. Good job by the defense to be there. Not good job by seven. Skating it right in front of his own net when there was a player attacking him. Nice try. Come on. We're getting so close. This game just does not want to... I changed my mind. This game does want us to get our first win. That is crazy. I did a flying poke check. He dished it off. And somehow, I still made the save. Look at how much of the net this man has.
And somehow, someway, he puts it right off the blocker. This might be the luckiest save of my entire life. Three on three hockey. I got a three on three game tonight, as a matter of fact. And we're just going to give it to them. We are just... We got one point out of it. They did end up with 38 shots. So you know what? We didn't play bad. We had a 921 save percentage, 35 saves. That's solid. I know I'm about to jinx it, but we currently have no challenges or anything underway, and it is awesome. Great, let's put me in against the New York Rangers. 12th in the league. They are doing quite well. Let's take them down. That Kachuk goal kind of reminded me, though, that I did learn a lesson in NHL 24 Be a Pro that I gotta use the normal poke check a little bit more. Sure, sometimes it might backfire, but I think in situations like that, it's the move. Will we obtain our first win against the New York Rangers? I'm gonna go out there, just... Put it in the universe, highly unlikely. But you never know, 1-0 Rangers, it is 3-0 Rangers, I'm not playing this game. What I did not look at is how many shots they had, so we might have actually done all right there. It seems like even Ingram isn't doing too well right now. I feel like the Sergachev loss definitely did some damage to this team, but you know, you gotta deal with it. Injuries happen, and it is a 2-1 game after one, it is 3-2. That's just rude. Let's just score one quick here. And we have a tie game. And it's pretty much like we entered the third period tied. It seems like we have a lot of these grudge match things. And I don't know exactly what determines that. Oh, nice pick. Nice pick from Kirill. And then Michelli puts it right into the guy skate. Didn't even try to toe drag release around him. Nothing. Is that Sergachev? Is he back? Back to Dursey, who's gonna let one go, but that is gloved down by Gus Bus. Same play again? Nope, this time they're all over it. Dursey gonna get dropped. I wonder if we're gonna do anything at the trade deadline, or if we're just gonna stay kaput. I don't even really see this team doing too much in the offseason, because I will once again reiterate, we have a lot of prospects on this team. It is a very young team. I can also officially confirm that Sergachev is back. Amazing news. The fact that that almost went in is hilarious to me because you can go do all these dipsy doodles in front of the goaltender and they're pretty much mimicking your every move at the time you do it, which is very unhuman like, but that's just the way it is. And then you let a little fluff like that go and somehow it almost beats them. Steer it aside. And are we going to get another shot here? Whoa! Wasn't expecting you to go there. Saved it. And also, he paid the consequences for getting that shot off. I haven't even really considered this yet. Comments are probably screaming at me. But I wonder, are we playing like too deep in the net or something? Great goal. It is all tied up. Carcone, I believe I heard the guy say. But I've heard Carcone like everywhere else, I feel like. I don't know. I'll just call him Michael. So that's crazy. That's his 16th goal. And his team leading. 16th goal based on what I just saw. I'm not sure why Mans is going in, but he is and I am here for it Let's let this line get another one. McBain keeps it goes back to Schmaltz I don't know how he pulled that off, but good on you. And then that was a terrible pass, but Dursey holds the line There is a guy back. Thank you Sergachev Boyd Why? Why do I get faked out so hard every time? What am I to do on breakaways? Just not budge? because I don't have the reflexes of an AI going back and forth with every move, every stick handle. Oh, it's so frustrating, but can only blame myself. Free stat. Thank you, Erickson Eck. And I'm gonna dish it out because I don't want to whistle. Kirill the Thrill is gonna have a devastating shot. Nothing I can do there. That one, not on me. The Zook. Is going to dish it back to Middleton. Boldy goes down low. They're just passing the puck around for fun at this point. This is like a practice to them. And that is all she wrote. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep simulating until we have a third period where we're going in with the lead. And if we blow that again, then so be it. But I'm going to give us a chance. You know, it's just the first game that's given us some trouble. But once we finally get that first win... We are going to be cruising. Floodgates are open. Allow a max of six goals over the next three games. Yeah, right. More like allow a maximum of six goals in the next game. Yeah, we are terrible. 16, 29, and 6.
was not ready for that. We are in against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Rest in peace to Johnny and Matthew Goudreau. How will we fare in this contest? The 30th place team versus the 32nd. Let's get it done here, Utah. First period, it is 1-1. Second period, it is 3-2. Ask and you shall receive. We have the lead. That's awesome. Right off the bat, we're getting a cheeky little backhander with a face-off in their end. Lawson Krause is up there with the league leaders for hits. That's unbelievable. You know what else is unbelievable? The fact that this is probably going to go in. Nice dish off to Serg, but he's going to be saved. That's all right, because Michelli is battling for this thing. Clayton Keller going to get knocked off of it. This doesn't feel like an if they score. It feels more like a when they score. So we need one more goal here as an insurance marker to give ourselves the best shot possible. Good job on the defense. Having his leg in the way of that shot just saved a goal. And can we get one? No, we can't. Nice hit behind the net there. Leveled him. He might think twice about picking that puck up again. Monaghan goes and doesn't really get the best shot opportunity. He's tried to put one on and it doesn't work out. But Columbus is still in the attack. Point shot saved. Can we just remove this puck from our end? Beautiful. Whoa! Well, there is the when. So now we just need to go get one more. That's it, guys. That's all it takes. Next season, we're going to be probably in the 70s overall-wise, which isn't significantly better, but I feel like we'll notice the difference. On top of that, a lot of our players should also go up in overall. We might pick somebody up in the offseason. I'm not really sure, but yeah, this one is just a complete write-off. Nice pass by Dursey. Goaltender all over it again with their inhumane reflexes. Kind of scared me for a second there, Sergachev. Tries to get another one. That was a point shot. And uh, nobody scores on me and gets away with it. Somebody tee up this Dan Forth guy. What a save on the blocker. Just chill here. Let Cooley do his magic. And the puck is out of the zone. Kraus. Weird person to pass it to when you had a three-on-one going. I'm doing it. Oh, I'm not doing it. Get back, get back, get back. Johnson gets tripped up. This is super not ideal. JVR regains the line and he is going to get knocked off of it. Don't. I love that he's out there right now. Get him the experience. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep. That's all it takes. Just don't bite hard on everything they do. Big save. And... I kind of feel like it's coming back to me from NHL 24 here. Because by the end of the NHL 24 series, I was doing quite well. And again, was I 98 overall or whatever? Yeah, I was. But I just feel like positioning-wise and composure, stuff like that. Oh my word. Here comes Marchenko. Is our guy going to get back fast enough? Yes, he is. How did that almost go in? That wasn't even that good of a shot. Unless it deflected, maybe. And saved. Throw it over to you, Schmaltzy. And away we go. Or not. Or yes. Sergeyev to Schmaltz. Dishes it off to Keller on the side. No! Come on! We gotta get the win here. We need a W. Just one. Yeah, I like it. That's not gonna do it. Save that on Monaghan. Save that on... Was that JVR? I think so. Sergachev. Yes! Yes! Cooley with the tip! And that is all she wrote. I told you. I said today was the day. Did I sound like a broken record and say that in probably the last eight videos that don't even exist yet? Yes. Oh, that is huge. That is absolutely massive. Sergachev gets it, stops up, wrist shot, and it's just gonna be perfectly tipped between the mini wheats. That is a thing of beauty. That, oh, it was, it just went off his knee. 
We take those though. We also had a 900 save percentage considering 34 shots, three goals. Yeah, the first time that we're hyped coming off the ice. You love to see it. Ooh, should I bump up recovery or should I bump up rebound control? Or should I just dial it all into speed? Oh, I can't even. I can do agility. Let's go for recovery because I do feel like right now after I make a save, it takes forever for our mans to be able to actually do anything again. It's the minor victories, you know? That one win might not mean anything to anybody else, but it means a lot to me. We are coming up on the trade deadline. It's right here, not too far away. This season is going by pretty quick, but we are in the backup role. And then obviously once we start to take over more of a shared role or starting role, that's when I'll start to just sim the entirety of more games. But I did want to take this first year to just kind of get our bearings and shake off the ring rust because it had been a while since I played goalie. We are a nice overall. We finally have that number one in the W column. We are dead last in the NHL right now with 40 points, 17 wins. Anaheim has four more than us, and then Columbus and Calgary both have 48. The next game that we're playing is against the Vancouver Canucks, so this could get ugly. Clayton leading the team now, 40 points, 55 games played. Cooley has 35. Again, Michael just going off. Michelli would like to see a little bit more out of you, especially considering you're on the first line. Dash 28 from Schmaltzy is unacceptable. Dursey not doing too bad. Sergachev did miss a lot of games. He's only played 36, so that must have been a pretty brutal injury. And Ingram has been really pulled back down to earth. A 907 save percentage. We have an 865, so ours is trending upwards, which it should. It'd be really... Really hard to make it trend downwards. Matthews has finally lost his pace. 51 goals in 56 games played. 86 points and he's a plus 34. This first line for the Toronto Maple Leafs is foul. Most wins currently belongs to Jake E.O. And he has a 914 save percentage while he's at it. But Shesterkin and Hill, 918 and 919. And still leading defenders is Roman Yossi with 66 points. Almost 20 goals. This guy's going off. So there you have it. We finally got our first win. We'll probably do two, maybe three more episodes to complete this season. I'll tell you one thing though. If we win the draft lottery, are you kidding? This team is going to be gross. Are you kidding me? That's going to do it for this one. We finally got that milestone, which is sad, but we got it. Fire me up.